if today I could offer you the chance to buy a tank of petrol for your car at the prices charged 10 years ago, you'd bite my hand off. In that period, prices have risen by more than 50%. And if you think that's bad, in the same time, funeral costs have doubled. The easiest way to explain why everyone should have a funeral plan is to tell you the story of Roy and Dave. Roy wasn't interested in funeral plans. He thought by purchasing one, it meant he was going to die soon. Dave, on the other hand, thought differently, and in 2011 purchased a plan which had all the options of his choice. The price was based on the going rate for a funeral at that time, and the price would stay the same regardless of how many years he lived for. Roy and Dave both passed away in 2020, with funeral costs set to double again by the end of this decade, Roy's estate will have to shell out twice as much as Dave's for the same funeral at the same time. If that alone wasn't enough, Roy's family have to go through the emotional strain of organising the funeral and making many decisions, some of which may have been the opposite of what Roy really wanted. Dave's family were allowed to deal with their loss in peace and attend a funeral which was planned exactly how he would have wanted it. So you see, purchasing a funeral plan isn't really that morbid. In fact, it's a smart investment and a caring act towards your family.